Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, tracking radar in terms of range. So till now we have seen uh, tracking in terms of phase and tracking in terms of amplitude. Okay, that means angular measurements we have seen. Angular measurement. So by comparing the amplitudes of the received signals and by comparing the phases of the received signals, we have calculated what is the error so that that uh, antenna direction will be rotated in that direction so the tracking of the uh, radar system could be done now uh, when i was starting this uh, tracking radar concepts i told you tracking can be done tracking can be done using four parameters that is azimuthal angle another one is elevation angle and next one is doppler information and fourth one is ray, uh, tracking can also be done using the parameter range okay so tracking can be done tracking of a particular target from our radar system can be done that means estimating the future position can be done by considering the only azimuth angle or only elevation angle or only doppler frequency or only range or a combination of all these any of these parameters okay so tracking can be done using range also now in this concept i am going to explain how a tracking of the particular target can be done with the with respect to the range okay so what we have to do is we will consider we will consider a range gate we will consider a range gate what is the purpose of range gate range gate is used to divide the entire received echo signal into two parts okay range gate is having internally two parts range gate divides the echo signal into two parts so they are um, actually this is done by they are done by early gate and late gate okay so range gate is uh, divided into two parts so one is early gate and range gate early gate the entire echo signal is has been divided into two parts and some part of the gate is going to the early gate and another part is going through the late gate so what we will do is at last we will find the difference between the early gate and late gate so finally we will calculate the difference between early gate and late gate so when the difference between early gate and late gate is zero then we can say the range gate is exactly in the half position between the early gate and late gate that means uh, equal amount of part echo signal part of the echo signal is being present in the early gate and late gate that means the target is exactly inclined with the direction of the target uh, radar system okay i will explain diagrammatically okay suppose if the error difference is if there is no difference between early gate and late gate we can conclude that the target is located in the direction of the radar system suppose if there is a residual amount of uh, factor that remained after the difference between early gate and late gate then definitely we should relocate the range gate okay uh, so if 
the difference is zero then tracking is done if some residue is there in the difference then we need to relocate the range gate okay this is the meaning of this tracking in range okay so what is what is what we are doing so tracking can be done in any way like uh, considering the azimuthal angle elevation angle or doppler information our uh, tracking can also be done with the parameter like range that means whatever the different parameters we can calculate in the receiving signal any one of these signals can be used to detect the future position of the target that is the meaning of this one so in this case in this what we in this concept we will consider the range information of the received signal by considering a range gate range gate is having two parts early gate and late gate that means the entire received signal is passing through this early gate and late gate if the range gate cuts exactly at the half of the received signal then the amount of signal present in the early gate is equal to amount of signal present in the late gate suppose if the range gate is not cut at the center some residual amount is there even after taking the difference between early gate and late gate then we need to relocate we need to relocate the range gate okay so let us see the diagram see this is the early echo pulse we have received this is the received echo pulse this received echo pulse is passing through is passing through a range gate okay so this is the received echo signal first one and the second one is range gate how the signal is passing through the range gate which is having two parts early gate and late gate i told you already okay this is the range gate now the received signal is passing through this range gate what happens see here the center of this one is not exactly with the coincide with the center of early gate and late gate so this is the amount of residual that left over in the difference between the early gate and late gate okay so what happens this is the amount of signal that is passing through the early gate and this is the amount of signal that is passing through the late gate because the center is located at this point okay what happens this part of the early gate the amount of signal present in the early gate is low but the amount of signal present in the late gate is very high so when we take the difference between the early gate and late gate definitely there will be some residual amount what we need to do now we need to relocate the range gate in such a way that this error should be zero towards range okay so whenever it is exactly coincide with the center of this uh, echo pulse definitely the residual amount uh, is equal to zero that is nothing but tracking is, is done again when the target is going to the next position again some error is there again we need to relocate the range gate so this process is continued until the target is in motion same whatever the thing we have done in the case of angular measurement here also we are doing the same but there we have done with respect to the angle and here we are doing with respect to the range by considering two different types of range gates and early gate okay so uh, finally uh, range can be calculated from the received radar system that range is helping us to identify the future position of the target okay any of the parameters azimuthal angle elevation angle or doppler information is also used to identify the future position of the target okay uh, and what type of signal we are transmitting here we are transmitting pulse waveforms pulse waveforms we are receiving the echo pulse also okay so this is about range gate uh, range gates and uh, how the ra uh, range is helping us to identify the future position of the target thank you